Welcome to another episode of Kid Nation Extra. Hey, everybody. This is where we work extra. Does anyone have any chapstick? <laughs> huh? I do. Al's always got chapstick. I'm Toss dry over lips here. this time. Every mm-hmm. spring. Uh, here you go. Every spring. Oh, that's a little baby. Uh, little baby oh, Vaseline. Vaseline. Oh, not the cute. Oh, you know what I just read about? Everything's cuter when it comes in a baby version. (laughs) I just read that if it's super cold outside, you just lather your body up with Vaseline and it's another protective layer versus the wind and the cold. I do that on dry spot. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I did not know that. A baseball player was going to do it up at Yankee Stadium. Oh, I didn't let him. No, they're going to let him. He because can't grease the ball, though. You can't grease it, the ball, but he's going to have his body covered yeah, with Vaseline. Accidentally, you might accidentally yeah. touch yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. Come on. Is I, that cold? I accidentally touch myself all the time. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to help you with throwing. It might actually not, you know, if they, you're... Tr- yeah, they used to grease up their hands to throw, right? Yeah, they, take, they kick people out of the game for that. If you have they a little Vaseline the on the bill of the hat. Yeah, it was more sticky stuff or sandpaper so that they would have more grip on the ball to make it spin more so it could move. What about they put grease on it? Yeah, the grease the uh, grease slider. I the, feel like it would get in the way of your accuracy quite a bit. The greasy slider. That's a, that's a good pitch. Oh, that sounds like lunch. Oh, you're not. <laughs> this is the best thing I've what is ever. It? I've never, I love Vaseline, but this is cocoa butter flavored and it's. Isn't it good? We have flavored Ow. Vaseline? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. I know. You're, how much? Containers are adorable. Huh? How much? Don't t- don't buy my Vaseline. How much? No. Uh, Ten dollars. Al needs it. Everything's got a price, right? <laughs> Al, I need it more than you do. Right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely oh, need it. Damn. You know what I mean? Oh <laughs> man. Get hey. your finger out of there now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, we did love letters to Kelly today, but we thought, why don't why don't we do an extra, a little bonus love letter to Kelly this morning? Sure. Is this one from you, Jenna, or are you going to read one from Kid Nation? A personal? Oh, it's a Kid Nation. I, I mean, I would love for my personal question to be answered. Which one's your personal question? <laughs> um, because I brought, well, I already brought it up, but no one ever really gave me a direct answer. Yeah, because cause I don't we, think there is a direct answer for your question. But I mean, you can ask it again. I mean, there's, you just kind of have to feel it out. You've been dating someone, and you're going on a, a weekday date, and you know you're probably going to spend the night. Can you just bring up the overnight bag? Because mm. I feel like you wait around until however late, and it's like you're just going to stay here, and then my stuff's in the car, and then I'm not. I'm like talking you're about someone else. You're like you're prepared. Yeah. Yeah. She's asking for a friend. What about? Well, yeah, because with our job, if I'm going to have an overnight date or I've been seeing someone and you're getting into that phase of a relationship, you it's so much more convenient you know, to stay the night and have my computer and I have to roll to work at 4.30 in the morning, whatever. Uh-huh. I think you should just bring it up before the date. Say, look, do you think this is going to turn? I mean, just very matter-of-factly, not hesitant. Do you... We Especially having a sleepover? If you've already spent the night. <laughs> say, if this is going to be an overnight to save me from having to run back home at 3 a.m., can I just go ahead and bring my stuff? And that just makes it real casual. Yeah. No, no, like, oh, I'm moving my toothbrush in kind of thing. Well, then you're gonna, That's you my take, suggestion. You got to take your dog. You got to take. You got to take your mom. You got you to take all kinds of stuff when you're preparing to stay overnight for you know. Oh yeah, oh, but all that's covered. <laughs> Um, if Jenna showed up with Wheezy and her mom to an overnight date, I think I would just laugh so hard I would just die. Missing this, you have mom take care of Wheezy so I can uh, have an overnight. Yeah. Okay, that was okay. already taken care of. It's not as funny as you showing up with your mom. And yeah, your dog. right. right. You know, it's just kind of annoying to have that conversation with my mom. Like, mom, can you just spend that at my place tonight? Why? Yeah. Well, just in case. When do you bring in the toothbrush? When do you well, have? Again, I think this is when this is why men invented the big oversized purses for women to make it easier for y'all to spend Men the night with them. us. For y'all to spend the That's night sexist. with us, we probably invented those things. I'm pretty sure a lady invented the oversized mm-hmm. purse because she knew and she needed... I don't need a toothbrush. Yeah. I bring it. I usually will take one of my purse in that situation. Yeah, yeah if you but... start leaving your toiletries, that's... That's a step of intimacy. Uh You know, it's one thing to bring your stuff because you're planning on staying the night and you take it all with you. But when you start leaving stuff, shampoo, that's taking it to a different level. Bye. You know, here, here's a little drawer I brought you. I've got your toothbrush. I'm like, that's That's nice. That's a big step. That's a care package. That's the that's the guy care package. That reminds me because my wife just told me this. I I don't know when it was, but it was recently that when we first started dating, because I wasn't that guy that went and bought her a toothbrush, she would go in and use mine. Yeah. Mm Hmm. I've Without my knowledge, this, but no. I've the few people I've dated have always been fine with that, and I've been fine with it. I know no. people think it's gross, I but like that. I've guys will be like, just use mine, or Ooh. I've said the same thing. It's just weird. Yeah, I, it is yeah. weird, but I I've let my girlfriend do it. But Ooh. I know we kiss and did stuff. You boil it afterwards. You run it in the hot water for a long <laughs> no. time. It just it did kind of weird me out because I don't even like to be in the bathroom when she pees or whatever. Uh huh. I, I I don't. She doesn't mm-hmm. mind it at all, but I still have a hard time 
drinking after people. Yeah, I yeah. still do. And yeah, I mean, I I'll everyone kiss and make thing. out with them and stuff. But I just have a, it's, I don't know, it's something about I can do it with a straw. But to do it when your mouth is on the glass or the, or a bottle, a water bottle, I just, I think it's the backwash idea. It just grosses me It's just me weird. Out. I don't know. I had a girlfriend in sixth, grade that, in sixth grade that said we were not official until I chewed her gum. Ew. Oh. She that's bullied nice. me. Like, that's, I draw the line there. She, yeah, she said we're not official until you chew my gum. Now, what about that the- That was f- just her threshold. Yeah, because right we, we didn't kiss yet, but she said- the gum would be like kissing. What about eating off the same fork, Kelly? Can like if she, he wants? Yeah, to you, I can do that. You can do it's that. Not backwash. Yeah, it's huh. just different. Okay, All right, let's do that love letter. Although then. I'll be telling you something right now about my man. What? He and I have had huge fights Uh-oh. Oh. when I my reach man. over and take something off his plate. Oh yeah. He does not like that. Well, let me ask you a <laughs> question. What did you want to bite? <laughs> Jenna, I've just learned unless like he, a fry? if he he does not like it, I, I reach that over. One. Especially without <laughs> clearing it first. Yeah. He can fill out a requisition form. I'm the he same. doesn't like it. I'm the same. He's like, he, he'll put his hands down, his utensils, and just look at me. I'm like, what? <laughs> I just wanted a french fry. Here, no. You didn't ask. Why didn't I'm you ask? Like, a- We're married. I can't have a french fry. <laughs> yeah, he Seriously. For everything? Jenna, I'm not lying. And he won't ever ask for a bite of mine. He doesn't want it. No. He's got no. his, you've got yours. He's very territorial about his food. <laughs> And, and, I you know, love sharing. I thought we. No. I thought I get mine to eat, and then no. yours is to be shared. No, no. <laughs> I, will, I, ref- I get the salad. You get the unhealthy thing, so then I can eat. Some. That's what my wife does, and it yeah. just blows my mind because I'll get my my six ounce steak. I only got six ounces, and then she's asking for a bite, so there, there goes two ounces. Yeah. Right, yeah. you guys. <laughs> so now I only got four ounces. I'm going to be hungry after. Well, why don't you eat a more manly ounce steak? Yeah, you need to get up to at least an eight or a nine. Dude. Yeah, oh, you should know ounce, that and ounce. go for the twelve instead of the eight. I'll be honest; it's not because I'm not manly; it's because I'm cheap, and the petite is a little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> you order a petite? Oh. Because it's cheaper. It is Whatever. a lot cheaper. It's like six dollars. No, cheaper. it'll yes. be thirty dollars or like forty nine dollars. So it's it's not, true. Some places are like that. It's a huge leap. So leap. Huge leap. No. Yeah. Or my wife will uh, turn down the French fries, right? She'll be like, oh, I don't want the French fry. Can I get a side salad? Meanwhile, the salad just sits there the whole meal. And she's, and she's, she's munching fries. on my fries. Right. But doesn't the waiter kind of give you side eye glare when you say, oh, can I get the petite steak? I can imagine that guy. You get like, it well done, too? Really? Yeah. I, well, I can't tell if it's a side eye from uh, ordering the petite uh, filet or the, the skinny marg. <laughs> 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 and I don't know. If wow. All which right, one let's comes read to. a love letter. Okay, this let's do it. This good, and we didn't get to it today on the show. Dear Kelly, you are the love expert. I am a love letter bonus. I'm having a problem with a girl messaging my husband after midnight asking him if he's up. I know there's nothing there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? That's universal code what? from come get it. <laughs> I know there's what? nothing there because it's been going on since him and I started dating. And she asks why he never responds to her. But it still bothers me. And she works where we go out to eat. And she always makes sure to yell goodbye to him and give me a nasty look. She also talks bad about me in the small town we live in. I've never even had a conversation with her, but somehow she seems to hate me. Is there a point where I can try and have a polite conversation with her, no. or do I just let him keep ignoring her and let no. her be crazy? That's this is man. not. This is Why beyond the point. Her? Well, he could block her. That'd be one thing, unless he likes the attention or he just doesn't know how that works. But this is beyond having a polite conversation. This is a direct conversation. You up. And this is, you call this number one more time, and I'm going to your boss, because this Ooh. is inappropriate. You got if he's not going to be man enough to take care of it because part of him loves it. Yeah, yeah he, of likes it. he loves You're the, married, attention. You like the attention. They've, they've he, hooked up. At some point, they have hooked up. It really? is very suspicious that he does nothing to stop it. They have. And hooked he seems up. pretty certain I, they haven't in that tone, right? No, like, she does, doesn't she? No, yeah. he hooked but, up like one time with her, maybe you know, and then she thought maybe there was something else there. He goes and gets a girlfriend with this other chick. I'm playing this all out in my and head. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you say, let me respond to her, honey, and he pitches a fit, no, 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 you got a problem. Yeah. Because if he gets real defensive and yeah. secretive about it they and like up. and turns on you and gets mad at you, there's something going on. Yeah, he doesn't want you to that see. That is not normal behavior. And he uh-huh. might not answer that, re- that text while he's with you, but he answers it later and then he deletes his response. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. Hey, this is very fishy here. I can tell you how play. I can tell you how players play. You don't just randomly get the you up from a, the girl. No, and then uh, she side eyed you in the, in the restaurant. Yeah. He hooked up. She's a hot little hostess, and he hooked up with her. I yeah. Promise. Gosh, that's awful. Oh. So I'll do I'm that. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you're watching this Kid Nation extra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if not, hopefully your friend is, and they'll let you know.
And if you want to write a love letter to Kelly, go to KidNation.com. We do them on Mondays and Wednesdays, so we'll be back at it again on Monday. Yep. But tomorrow on the show, Beat the Bank is coming back. Uh-huh. we got another chance for you to win up to $1,000 twice. Uh, we have our friend Haley Arantia joining the show. Nice. From the Goldbergs, one of my favorite TV shows. Also a singer. She's, She's also a singer. A, a mini tour. 22, yeah. 22 dates, I believe, and... Talking about that. Yeah, if you ever watched the X Factor back in the day when we had it on, she was on that first season of the of yep. the X Factor and, and now she's doing big things in Hollywood and going on her first tour in a while. She's doing country music and she sounds awesome. Country pop. Country pop. Uh and what else do we have coming up? Um let's see. I missed something. Uh, yeah, you what did. did I, what did I miss? Um. Oh, first world problems. Oh, ah, there we go. <laughs> we have so much going on that I forgot that we have first world problems. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> That's your first world problem. So we'll get to those tomorrow as well. We'll see you tomorrow, Kid Nation.